Good evening and welcome to Dartmoor. Now it's rather grey and overcast. I've already got a bit wet from the showers, but it is forecast to clear up just as the sun about to set. And that could leave me with those spectacular Dartmoor conditions that I love so much. Oh, I'm just gonna get more wet. come out walking on Dartmoor to achieve three things. Number one, take landscape photographs, always my primary mission. The second is to try and take some of those landscape photographs with a new lens I've got, and I'll tell you about that in a few minutes. And third, and possibly more important than taking photographs, is to take, take out my little friend here, Monty, for his evening walk. So for job number one, capture landscape photograph. I've picked out this scene here where I've got this uh, rock here, which is perching on top of this other rock in typical Dartmoor fashion. I've got this wall here, it's called Irishman's Wall. I've got Bellstone Tor there in the background. Over there, I've got the sun behind the cloud, but there's quite a big gap and it's about to drop down. And what I hope will happen again, is the light will cast across this scene and really lift it from flat gray to something a bit more beautiful. I've got the camera all set up, ready to go. Okay, now that we've got the first photograph in the bag, let me tell you which lens I'm using tonight. And it's a new one I've got. Well, it's not new, I've bought it used, but it's new to me. So it's this 15mm f2 lens by a company called Loa, Loa? I don't know quite how to pronounce it. I've actually got their 100mm uh, two times macro lens, really nice lens. Now, this is a 15mm, like I said, f2, um, so it's fixed focal length and it's manual focus. But you may be asking the question, if you, if you know the type of gear that I shoot with, I've also got the Nikkor 14 to 30 F4. So this seems like a little bit of an overlap. And yeah, you'd probably be right. So why have I bought this, this lens? Well, I bought this lens for astrophotography because I'm going on a photography trip later on this year where I'm going to be doing a bit of astrophotography. So this wide angle, wide aperture lens is going to be well suited for that purpose. But I don't want to just leave it in the bag until the end of the year till I needed it. I thought, why don't I take it out for a little test run, come up to Dartmoor, and we'll see what it's like about, see what it's like capturing landscape photographs. Right enough chat about lenses, time for another shot. So I've still got the 15mm F2 on there and I'm pointing down, I think that's about a southerly direction. I've got the sun coming this direction and it's catching all the rocks on the side there. It's absolutely beautiful. Got quite a heavy sky, but there is, you know, it's catching the light and there's a bit of texture there. It's really sort of, again, classic Dartmoor. There's a reason I come here all the time, because it's just such a fantastic place to photograph. But I've got all the lens set up, manual focus, obviously, so I've been using focus peaking and zooming in just to double check everything's acceptably sharp where it needs to be. But yeah, what a great place to be. Just before I show you the next picture, if you are enjoying this video, please remember to hit that like button, leave me a comment. I do try and read and reply to everyone's comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, remember to click on that subscribe button.
Well, that's me done with the photographs. There's only one more thing I'm going to do, and that's going to watch that sunset. It's looking absolutely glorious. Did you have a good time, Monty? I think he had a good time. I'll see you in the next one.